It's the kind you get out of your china cabinet and you put it on your dining room table when you have company. Then next we have claves. These were made by the husband of one of our band members and we love having those. Everything has to be handmade that's in the band. And then we have sink stoppers. <laughs> They've been played at every performance since 1962. And on that same stick, now occasionally they have to have some little screws tightened like they did this afternoon, but they've been played every time since 1962. Then we have a washboard, a packing crate, and a homemade triangle. Then back row, can you stand up so the people in the back can maybe see you? Dan, you don't need to stand up because they can see you through there. First is a set of sticks. Stan went to visit his family in Texas. And his son-in-law said, well, Stan, I understand that you're in the band. He said, mm-hmm. Well, what do you play? He said, I play the sticks. He thought, mm, that's not very glamorous. So it wasn't long until Federal Express sent Stan two beautiful pairs of sticks made out of really nice wood. I think one was mahogany and one was oak. And he played those for a long time. And then when Stan had his 95th birthday, <laughs> He came and he brought Stan the set of sticks that he's playing tonight. It's one piece of wood, but he made a bell part on the end. Play it, Stan. And it has a wonderful sound. Then next, maracas. Yes, but they're really the floaters from the back of our commode. <laughs> we had a time getting Ricardo to let us have them. <laughs> because if you look in the back of your commode today, they don't really have these anymore. So they're really sort of antiques, but they are our, our maracas. And then we have a cheese box and a big old keg and then a gut bucket. <laughs> it is a big old tub with a plank and a string. We had to buy a snare drum. And of course, we always have to have a piano. And tonight, we have Joanne Least is our accompanist. And Joanne has been the accompanist for this band for 10 years plus. Give her a hand. <laughs> One of the nicest, prettiest little tunes that you hear at Christmas is a Protestant hymn called Hark the Herald Angels Sing. It was written by Charles Wesley, and it, he wrote this carol. As he walked to church on Christmas morning, catch this date, 1730, when he, Charles Wesley wrote Hark the Herald Angels Sing. But it was first published in a Methodist hymn book in 1856. We'd like to play for you now, Hark. The Herald Angels Sing. <clears throat> 